Welcome everyone to week eight. I chose this image because can you believe it? It's already halfway through the semester and you're almost there. And for some of you, you're about ready to graduate. So keep it up and I wish everyone all the best. So let's go ahead and jump into module eight. We're gonna start with the assignment summary. Of course, you should be watching the video, which currently you are. Then the module review will be that you're going to read chapter six and review the PowerPoint presentation for chapter six. The assignments will be the course participation top 10 topics, which I'll touch on here in a minute. The chapter six learn smart assignment, the case study, which will be on Sirius satellite radio, the global simulation mid game peer evaluations, something new, the global simulation year 10 report, which you should be familiar with. And also the global simulation decisions for year 10. Last but not least is the chapter six quiz. Let me go ahead and scroll down. We're going to start with the course participation top 10 topics. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick as a team your top 10 topics that you felt was most important throughout the semester so far. It could be from your textbook, Globus, discussion boards, case studies, or reports, or conversations you have had with your team, team member. It's all up to you, okay? Now, it's just not going to be a PowerPoint presentation. You have to include audio and or video. Last semester, most students just did audio. There wasn't too many that did video. Um, it would be nice video, but if you just do audio, that's fine. If you would say, well, what do you mean by audio? Well, very similar to what I'm doing right now. You see something on the screen, and I'm telling you what the, that topic is uh, pertaining to that's on the screen. Now, I'm using Camtasia, and I realize most of you don't have access to Camtasia. So you can actually use the built-in feature in PowerPoint, if you want to use PowerPoint, to record your audio. So let me just show you a quick glance of the option for recording within PowerPoint. Okay, so within PowerPoint, you should see the recording tab. If you don't, you may have to, you may have to add it to the menu, um, but most likely by default, it's already there for you. So you can actually record audio per slide. If you will say, well, how's that going to work out with the team? What I would suggest if you use PowerPoint, you don't have to. There's many different other ones you can choose from. Is say I, as a team member, start the PowerPoint presentation. I did a few slides. I recorded mine. Then you can email it or share it through a OneDrive or any kind of cloud storage. So the other team members can go ahead and open it up and add their slides and their audio to the slides. So that's how you can uh, accomplish the assignment. Um, like I said, you don't have to use PowerPoint. But most likely, that's what majority of you are used to, though. And it would make the assignment probably easier to you, though. I did this last semester, and it went over very well because most people had experience with PowerPoint. They never recorded audio within PowerPoint. This is going to give you another chance to learn another skill set. Of course, next we have the Learn Smart for Chapter 6 and the quiz and the case study, which is Sirius XM which you should be familiar with the format of that. So I'm going to keep on moving down. Next, we have the global simulation mid game peer evaluations. Okay. You will be evaluating yourself and your team members on 12 different factors, and you will have an opportunity to include any additional written comments if you choose to. Okay. The contents of the peer and self evaluations will be provided to the instructor, but will not be reported to the, your co-managers. So feel free to be honest. I will not be sharing it. Um, in an ideal situation, I would share them. Uh, but the fear is if I do, it may really damage a, a certain team. So that, that's why I found that last semester not sharing them. And, and that information really only be for, for me. Uh, the instructor, not for the students, um, is better off if you say, well, why even provide that information then? Then I could tell who's doing all the work. Is it evenly distributed? Um, is one team member is doing a lot more than another team member? So then when it comes to grading, I, I know really what to start looking out for. So please be honest. Um, with that said, you know, after the fact, if, if you find yourself um, putting some negative comments about a team member, make sure you give them an opportunity um, to kind of address them. If you never bring it up to them, they may or may not know. So, um, but with that said, they won't know because you put it on the peer evaluation because they won't see it. All right, the year 10 report. 
everyone should know by now all about the report, so I'm not going to go in depth. Most teams, you're already meeting expectations, exceeding expectations when it comes to yearly reports. The only pushback that I keep on putting in most of the comments is change the formatting. I realize if this was a true annual report, the format most likely would be the same. But as you know, this is not a true annual report. An annual report wouldn't change the questions every single year. Okay, right now you see there's seven questions. These are not the same seven questions you answered for last year. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is not a true annual report. You will complete one of those during year 15. Okay, so um, the whole purpose of making you change the formatting is to gain experience with uh, different styles. Uh, you may work for a company and they may have the formatting, but you may be able to improve it. But if I don't ever have you change the formatting or the style, then whatever they give you, you're just taking a run with it. So, But that's the concept of if you're struggling with exactly what I'm looking for, uh, reach out to me. I, I provided a few examples to some other teams, so um, I, I'm, I'm open to that because I never want the assignment to be frustrating. Um, I just want you to be able to focus on it. Last but not least is the year 10 decisions. Of course, by now, everyone's got this under control. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into Globus and review year 9. Here we have the results for year 9. As you can see, Company D is still in the lead with 104, but they actually dropped 4 points from the previous year, year 8. Look at the company who is ranked second, Company A. They gained 13 points from the previous year, 8. At, now they're at 95. Company C's at 93, Company B's at 91, Company E's at 90, and Company F is at 84. So basically there's a 20 point spread from top to bottom, and you say, well, 20 is a lot. Is it? Being the fact Company A just gained 13 within one year? So I really want to make sure a, a company like F, you don't feel like you're out of it because clearly you can make the same leaps as company A did, and you did. You gained three points. If you continue that upward trend, you can catch that number one team still. Plenty of time left. Now let's take a look at the game to date scoreboard. So very similar. Company D is at 105. Company A is at 96. They actually have three bonus points. Company C is at 95. Then company E is at 94. B is at 93. And F is at 85. Then again, it's only a 20 point spread between top to bottom. Everyone's still in this race. Let's go ahead and take a look at earnings per share, return on equity, and stock price. Here we have earnings per share. Company D is best in industry. With that said, everyone met expectations. Great job. Keep it up, everyone. Clearly, what you're doing is working. I'm just continuing enhancing on it. Next, we have return on equity. Then again, I know I sound like a broken record. Company D is best in industry at 86.1. Everyone else met expectations except Company E. But now if you look at Company E, year 6 they were at 46. 7 they were at 32. Year 8 they were at 24, so they dropped. And then year 9 they went to 28. So what my thought would be is that they're probably implementing some strategy that did make them take a dip, but now they're back on the upswing. So I would not count company E out. Next we have stock price. Then again, company D is best in industry at 314 and six cents. Everyone else met expectations. So keep it up. Clearly what you're doing is working. You, you now need to figure out how to increase it even farther to catch company D. Now let's take a look at credit rating and image rating. So for credit rating, everyone's either at A minus or a high, so great job. Every team's been doing fantastic since the very first year on credit rating. So let's go ahead and move on. Image rating, company A now, instead of company D, company A now is best in industry. Okay, so in the past it was year six was D, year seven was D, year eight was A and D, but now it's company A alone by itself. And if you recall, company A is one who made a 13 point increase from the previous year. 
So what I would say is watch out for company A. It seems like they're really moving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Like I said, I don't ever want to give away too much strategy. Uh, as always, if you have a question, please feel free to reach out to me. And have a great week.